This week on The Wire, prices continue upward spiral, rental shortage crisis bites, and further price rises predicted. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest. Welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, prices continue upward spiral. So property prices continue on their growth path in October with house prices up 1.6% and apartment prices rising 1.2% nationally. And this brings annual growth rates to 24.2% for houses and 13.3% for apartments, led by a strong uplift in regional markets. And the apartment markets, the combined regions, have risen 22.5% in annual terms compared to 11.8% in the combined capitals. Now in the housing markets, growth in October was led by 2.8% in Brisbane, followed by rises of 2 to 2.2% in Adelaide, regional New South Wales and Hobart. Now there are also increases of 1.8 to 1.9% in regional Tasmania, regional Queensland, regional Victoria and Canberra. Now in the August, September, October quarter, the combined regions rose 5.3% compared to 4.8% in the combined capitals. Now the largest quarterly rise occurred in Brisbane, which was up 7.1%, followed by Adelaide 6.5% and regional New South Wales, regional Tasmania, Canberra and Hobart, all which increased 6.4%. Now, the highest annual growth has been in Sydney at 30.4%, uh, regional Tasmania at 29.8%, Canberra at 29%, and regional New South Wales at 28.6%. Now, for our next story, rental shortage crisis bites. So investors may be returning to the market, but their participation remains below long-term averages leading to rental shortage crisis. Now, analysis by the Property Investment Professionals of Australia shows that between 2007 and 2017, investors made up about 35% of the property market, but in the last four years, that has decreased. Now, PIPA Chairman Peter Kulzos says tighter lending conditions contributed to a reduction of investors, which means there are fewer rental properties available and a further tightening of the rental market. Kulzos says the volume of investors has been trending up over the past few months, but the fact that they were generally stuck on the sidelines for a number of years means there is significant rental property deficit in most parts of the nation. Now, he says the gap between the number of properties available for rent and the number of tenants seeking a property has been increasing since 2017. With fewer rental properties available in many parts of Australia because of the reduced number of investors, rents are rising. And now, guys, for our final story of the week, further price rises predicted. So house price growth is predicted to hit new heights as Australia opens its borders to international travel again in the coming weeks. Now, the latest RBA cash rate survey of experts and economists reveals 60% believe it will contribute to further price increases. Now, Finder Head of Consumer Research, Graham Cook, says while the Australian house price surge of the past 18 months has been driven by home buyers and local investors, once borders open, it is expected overseas investors will return and create more competition in the markets. Now, Cook says the opening of international borders may well fuel the market even further. Those surveyed predict house uh, houses will continue to rec record higher house price growth than apartments in all capital cities. The predicted price increases mean Sydney homeowners will potentially earn 3.5 times the average household salary from capital growth, while the average Melbourne owner would make 1.6 times the average salary on their homes. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, or and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, guys, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.